So, uh, I just recently noticed one thing that's really, really annoying me lately. Uh, I don't know if the PS stations, whatever, have this problem with loading music or not, but on the Xbox 360, every time I load an artist that has a featured artist, for example, right now, I'm going through all this 50 Cent stuff that has features on it, like Dre and... I don't know. Tulips McGee. I don't care who the feature artist is. But I load the CD onto the Xbox. And sure enough, after I load the CD onto the Xbox, there is all these other featured artists popping up in the artist lists. Now, I don't understand why they got to do that. It's a 50 cent CD or it's an Eminem CD. Then they're the artist. You don't need to put artist 50 cent semicolon Dr. Dre, semicolon, some other asshole, because now I'm going to have to go through all that shit and delete it and just put 50 cent in each one of those things, and I'm going to have to delete all that other shit and put Eminem in those other things. What is the point of that? If it's a 50 cent CD, 50 cent is the artist. If it's an Eminem CD, Eminem is the goddamn artist. Why does that have to be split up into a million fucking things and make me pull up my hair? Like, ah, I don't know if the PS people have to put up with this. I don't know... I've never tried this into a computer, but uh, this this whole shit on Xbox, really annoying. So I'm hoping that when I finally get an Xbox One, I don't have to go through the same shit. Because spending an hour trying to relist everything is just, I don't know, bad programming. And if it's due to the actual CD itself, whoever's mixed and mastered that crap, you're an idiot. Now I'm going to have to go through and delete all the artist titles and just put the friggin thing that's on the CD. Anyone else have this problem? Shout out in the comments. Thanks for watching this.